at SHOT Show 2020 at the booth of Pulsar Masters of Thermal Vision. And my buddy here, Chase Stevens, to give us the rundown on the new, this new product lineup, this hot new optic that just hit the market, or is about to hit the market, rather. About so the market, yes. I'm, I'm no expert on thermal, so I'm going to have the master of thermals himself give us the run through on the optic. Yep, so, so Pulsar users are familiar with the Trail LRF series that we introduced about a year and a half ago. This is basically just the new and better version. So it'll awesome. still be in the old trail format. Okay, if you'll notice, anybody that's familiar with the Trail LRF, it's got an extended eyepiece. That's because it's got a wide angle, angle viewer um, and it's got an HD, full HD screen. So it's oh, got nice. all the color modes, which comes in our new Thermion series. So you can invert the color of the reticles between red, green, shows up a little bit better in white hot, black hot. Oh yeah, um, I had a chance to run one, and I'll, I'll, I'll not for this video, because we don't have it available, but I did a review on the uh, 38, I believe it is, is the uh, X38 yeah. or whatnot, right. and it's awesome. There's like a million options. Yeah, right. So it's gonna have different color palettes built in, um, just an overall, and it's gonna have an upgraded sensor, right? So the is sure. kind of the engine that drives the thermal. Um, that's where, our, where your, most of your cost is between that and your germanium. Sure. Um, and the new sensor out from ULIS is a, uh, it's a 35 millikelvin. So that's basically a temperature rating and it's just more sensitive. So it'll provide is a it better fully view. digital? Fully digital. Right. Very cool. Right. Which is going to help cut the cost on the, and, and the end user substantially. Sure, sure. Uh, I, I know some of the analog units, the older ones are ridiculously expensive. Yeah, that's right. Like, yeah. like, like new motorcycle expensive. And yeah. th this guy, how much are we looking at for retail? Uh, so we've got different models. So we'll have a 640 by 480 sensor with the new ULIS 35 millikelvin. Um, and it'll retail at about $1,000 more than the non-LRF. So it'll be $6,000 uh, for the LRF and the 640. And then in the new 384, 17 micron, 35 millikelvin, XQ50, um, your retail will be about $4,299. That's, that's a lot more affordable. Sure. Certainly not cheap, but it's, it's thermal vision. It's not like they're just putting a red dot on something. Yeah, sure. Very, sure. very cool. Does it have H HDMI output like I've seen in previous yep, models? Yep, yep. And it's got all your mini USB there, so you can take very external cool. power. So you're going to have anywhere from 8 to 12 hours with your rechargeable battery. Uh, we make an external power source, uh, and you'll get you up to about 16 hours. Very cool. Yep. And I've seen some DIY solutions out there where guys have kind of like mounted to their wood stock or polymer stock. Yeah, that's you right. Can, you can get pretty much, I believe uh, there's a series of, uh, of, of camera batteries that are actually compatible and whatnot. Yep. I don't know if that, if that would you know, avoid the warranty or whatnot. But no, no, no. Any, any external battery source that you can get to fit in that mini USB works for it. Yep. Awesome. Yep. So yeah, you guys can get that, that, that lifespan even longer and own the night, so to speak. Sure. Uh, having hunted with thermals before, it is a game changer. It is. You can have, I mean, even with uh, uh, infrared vision or night vision, rather, you, s you still get some uh, difficulty actually uh, with target location, sure. trying to find stuff, especially when it's there's moonlight, there's mixed colors. That's even right. with the amplification, it's tough. With thermal, it's impossible to hide. Stuff yep. just pops out at you. It's it's, it's pretty much the, uh, the the predator vision, but even cooler. That's right. That's All right, right, guys. Well, thank you so much, Chase. I yeah, appreciate of it. No, thanks for coming by. We appreciate it. Stay tuned for continued coverage of SHOT Show 2020 for the latest and greatest from the world's biggest gun show. And of course, if you don't want to miss anything, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more burst reviews.